Hey guys and girls, so quick video on installing brand new JLT oil catch can, oil separator. Now, JLT has, first of all, made a fantastic product. I am not sponsored by them. I paid full price for this product, and so far I'm very impressed. Um, they also make a great video about installing this on a Ford Flex which is the video that we have, or the, sorry, the vehicle that we have today. Uh, this one's a 2010 Ford Flex EcoBoost. Now, the, the problem I had, and you know, I wasn't gonna make a video because JLT had made such a good video. Um, the reason why I'm tackling this video now is that this design is different than uh, the newer Ford Flexes. I'm not sure uh, what date they changed, but you can see that um, there's actually that's actually a uh, an aluminum valve cover so in their drawings and in any videos that I've seen for uh, Ford Flex SHOs and that's the correct way of saying it is SHO super high output not a show um, you know debate me down in the comments but um, in here it's hard to see but that's actually a plastic valve cover and it's actually showing a red nipple that's sticking out way back here past um, way past the inlet for the air intake for the intake manifold I should say it's, it's back in here somewhere whereas I've got this contraption up here I'm gonna pull this off the mount just so you can kind of get a better look I've got this plastic contraption that's actually attached to the top of the uh, aluminum manifold they actually show kind of back in here is where the connection is supposed to be I'm way up here so it took me a while I had to make sure that I had the right hose um, you know per the video make sure I was unpopping the right thing because I actually thought that it was this hose back in here and I'm fairly confident that it is not um, so anyways I've I've cheated and I pulled that hose off because it was just a right pain unlike the newer ones where there's plenty of room you don't actually have this hose in the way from what I can see so it's easier to pop out um, and plus it's further down into the engine bay so you don't have to worry about um, the actual sway bar uh, getting in the way too so it was a bit of a pain getting this out I pre-installed the bracket I've left it loose just so that we can kind of maneuver it around so it's very simple, it's a 13 mil bolt that you back out, you put this bracket in there, tighten it back down. Again, so far, super impressed with this uh, quality and the price point was awesome. So we're gonna try to put this on. Full honesty, I have not tried this yet. So we're gonna do this together. So again, I've loosened this off already. You can see just the amount of crud that is in here and I should have left this intake tube off uh, from the previous video where I was doing spark plugs because it was just horrendous the amount of uh, junk that was in that that tube I apologize for the road noise uh, this street is just getting absolutely ridiculous um, but what do you do so this one here is supposed to just loop around and hook into here and from what I can see already we're already hitting a snag like I said these other EcoBoosts do not have these issues hey guys and girls so we're back uh, we we're able to just maneuver just maneuver that fitting in there again I don't think that this is an issue with uh, other EcoBoost engines so That one's clicked in place. You heard that click, that positive sound. Now, they have an actual um, way of rooting these pipes. So we're supposed to go over top of the AC and then under that wire loom to get to the fitting. But our fitting is way back over here. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda coil. Sorry, I realized I wasn't doing that right. So we're supposed to go over and under the uh, the line there and get back to here but again 
we don't have that we're way back in here somewhere um, so we're gonna kind of see how we can play with these uh, wires or these lines sorry I think that's the best that we're going to do. The, the hose is actually just kind of... It loops in and behind the strut tower brace and goes in here. Um, I don't know how these fittings are made actually. They're not like an AN fitting. Um, I'm sure I could shorten that hose up. But I think for now we're just going to leave this and see how it works. Sorry for that delay, I just realized I didn't have any screwdrivers with me. So we're just going to thread this in by hand. There's one. All it is is just a Phillips head screw. And this is why you leave the bracket loose. Because I'm trying to line up line up these holes and it is a little bit difficult so I apologize for not having the screwdriver with me guys and girls just hand tighten nothing special that's in there you can take socket with an extension regular ratchet and of course now the hose is in the way and sorry for the noise uh, it's kind of stupid actually how the people carry on through this neighborhood so that's it so we're snugged up, it's not going anywhere, it will now give us access to undo this and get that out of there. Just hand tighten. Again, no complaints at all from the quality of this, just um, I don't think they realized that, <laughs> I didn't realize either that the uh, 2010 Flex EcoBoost is that much different. Um, they di I didn't show you taking off this cover, but uh, all you do is you take this oil filler cap off and this shroud will pop right off. It just has one, two, three little connectors that go on there while well, you got it out. Put a little bit of uh, treatment on it just to make it look a little bit nicer. But, um, yeah, like I said, I didn't want to do this video because JLT had done such a good one. But, um, yeah, the rooting of the pipes was a lot different on mine. And some of you people out there uh, might be having the same issue that I was. So, anyways, I hope you found the video informative. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. Uh, think about hitting subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them down there. Uh, constructive criticism, always welcome. And uh, we will see you on the next video. And remember that uh, you don't know unless you bear.